Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture's found in 1 John chapter 6, verse 63, and it goes like this. It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. Oh, back here a few years ago, we was getting ready to sell the house, and we was putting all the things together to, to sell or give away. Uh, and uh, I didn't realize how many cookbooks. <laughs> I mean, we had tons of cookbooks. And uh, they all had these good recipes in them and, uh, you know, tasty and nourishment for the body and, you know, to keep us healthy and alive and, but when it comes to spiritual things, they really miss the mark. Them old cookbooks do. But when it comes to the Bible, however, it's the only book that pulsates with life. Right there. The old Holy Bible. I use the King James Version. Some of the other versions, uh, they're missing scriptures out of them and and uh, they rewrite them, and sometimes the scriptures just contradict what they say. So I, I found the King James Bible to be my preference. You know, the Bible says itself is the Word of God. It is the Word of God. And it will endure forever and ever and ever and ever. You know, Psalms 119, verse 89 tells us, firmly fixed in the heavens. So it's firmly fixed there. It's, it's not something that just comes and goes. This right here is eternal words, eternal words. There's no way around it. God's word is where life is found, and it endures forever. I've been asked in the past uh, on the issues of the infallibility of the scriptures. You know, were they the original scriptures or what? And like I say, you know, the word of God is settled in heaven. It's settled in heaven. And that's, that's where the originals are. God, by his power, has preserved his word throughout the years because his word is alive. It's breathing. I guarantee you, I've, I don't know how many times that I've read through the, the Genesis all the way through Revelations, but I find scriptures I don't remember ever reading. It's alive. It just, I mean, tell you what, it talks to your spirit. It talks to your heart when you read the Word of God. And so, you know, the eternal God is known by the Word of God right here. And if you really want to know God, you study His Word. You read it. You meditate on it. And let it soak deep into your mind and into your heart. And, uh, you know, I, I just really love, after I read scriptures, to sit there and pray and meditate on what I read. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. This right here is nourishment for our soul. The cookbook is nourishment for our bellies. This is for our soul. Our soul is eternal. Our bellies are earthly. Okay? May God richly bless you. I love you a bit better yet. Jesus loves you. Yep, he died on that cross for us. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.